Well, hello, everybody. I'm hoping that um, everything is going to work now. <laughs> I've got all of the buttons uh, that I think I'm supposed to press, and so we are live on YouTube right now. Good, uh, good afternoon, good, um, good Thursday afternoon to everyone. I'm David Dorian Ross, and if you are interested in the idea of becoming a Tai Chi instructor and by that I mean a Tai Chi Fit instructor in 2018. You are in the right place because I want to talk about that today. Um, and so I already see a bunch of people that I know uh, on the the chat box right here. And I just want to say welcome. Um, my uh, my good friend and my student Rick Starks is, is there um, in the chat room as well. So if you have some questions and I I don't get. Um, if I don't see it or if I seem to ramble on and haven't answered your question, please go ahead and direct something to Rick. And Rick, you know, please uh, you know, feel free to, to jump in and, and answer any questions that you see come across. Rick is one of my uh, senior students uh, and is also uh, an instructor who teaches a lot of classes and has uh, traveled all over the country teaching Tai Chi Fit to um, a particular group of uh, people that he's involved with, and maybe I'll get a chance to talk about that in a little while. But I just want to welcome everybody who is watching live right now and who's watching on the replay. And I want to really encourage everybody to ask questions, to, uh, to, to fill in you know, any kind of curiosities or, or inquiries that you might have or, or um, requests that you might have about either information or uh, if you want to host a, a training, if you want to attend a training, you just want to know what it's all about, go ahead and, and fill all that in. So uh, once again, if you are watching this live stream sometime in the future, time travel, you are curious about what uh, teacher training is like, uh, what Tai Chi teacher training might be like, and how you can become a Tai Chi instructor, um, in 2018, you were in the right spot because that's what I want to talk about today. And then I'll tell you a little bit about um, why we're doing this stream, and then I'll give you a quick background on myself for those of you who don't know me, and then jump into what's coming up in 2018. And I hope that uh, that sounds good. Um, so the reason why I'm doing this stream today is that recently I've been doing a lot of work here on YouTube, on my channel, and in particular with a series that I'm creating called 100 Days of Tai Chi. So for the past 66 days, today's day 66, it's unbelievable, I've been putting up a video every single day to teach the entire Yang style long form of 103 movements. And so of course, during the, the course of that, I'm, I'm really trying to stay in touch with the people who are watching and to watch how well we're doing in introducing this to other people. And so I'm watching the analytics that come through. And something very interesting happened. So I'm watching which one of the videos is the most popular, right? Which one of these, which, which means to me, oh, we had a really good lesson that day. And people got a lot out of it. And they're coming back and they're re recommending it to their friends. And so I'm, I'm always really curious about that because it helps me make better lessons when that happens. And this one video popped up as not only the, the most popular video that's being watched right now, but literally the next one in line is half as many people watching it. So this is, this is the most popular by double of any of the other videos that I have on my channel. And it happens to be the video called How to Become a Tai Chi Fit Instructor. And uh, it's from two years ago. Now, this isn't views that happened two years ago. This is views that have been happening in the last month. So I thought, oh, wow, um, this is wonderful because it tells me that people are interested in becoming Tai Chi instructors and they're interested in it now. And so let's do a new video to update everybody about becoming a Tai Chi and a Tai Chi Fit instructor in 2018. So that's, that's why I'm doing this particular live stream today. And uh, I'm so glad that you guys are here. There's a bunch of people that I know. Mike Cannon's there. Cannonball, man. How you doing? Uh, says, I've just been working, get my business set up to earn extra money. Haven't, had, haven't earned any extra money yet, <laughs> brother. <laughs> Don't we all know how that works there? Uh, no such thing as extra right now. Right? Um, 
Jan, Jan Clark, did I just see, did I just see a comment go by that said you want to get back in the program? I would so love that. We miss you so much. Of course, you know, like life happens and we are always, you know, in the, in the support of what everybody, uh, their life, uh, take, like Cannonball, you know, was uh, really in the thick of the program and then had to pull away because life, so, but he's always, the door is always open. Is, um, what is beyond flow? Well, so we have a whole curriculum of other class formats, if you want to, to teach. We have um, the entire academy, which is set around taking you through um, a progression of levels of understanding about Tai Chi that teach you how to be a more advanced student. They teach you about the classical aspects of the, what we call the legacy of classical Tai Chi. Teach you how to be a better teacher, better instructor. Teach you how to eventually become a master trainer and a mentor. So all of these things are part of our career. There's a ton, Jan. Um, and sometimes I wait until people have actually been in the program for a while before we start talking about what else there is in the academy. But this is a very in-depth school with um, uh, a lot of stuff that we teach. We teach, for those who are interested, Tai Chi weapons and Qigong and meditation and everything that's part of our curriculum. So there's a lot. There's a lot that you could be uh, sharing with other people. Um, Jan says, I think the academy is for me. Oh, we would love it. And you can start at any level. We have what we call the Beginner's Academy, which is, you know, you just start off with one class a week. Um, the class, by the way, for those of you who are just tuning in and don't, you know, I, I, I realize sometimes I talk over um, what people know about us. Our academy is 100% online, which means that our students come into class from all over the world. We literally just had a class an hour ago where we had somebody in Germany, somebody in Belgium, somebody um, in Canada, some, you know, a bunch of people from the U.S. in different states, all coming together at the same time. These classes are live, which means they're, they're real time and 100% um, interactive. Everybody's on camera, so everybody can see each other, everybody can talk to each other, everybody can talk to me just like you were in a regular class. I get a chance to see you and interact with you on an individual level, which means that I'm, I'm actually looking at what you're learning and, what, and how you're, you're you know, uh, responding to the instructions. Say, ah, here's the way you need to turn this and do that, and the elbow goes there, and not in your ear, and that kind of thing. So this is what the, how the academy operates. If you miss a class, the, the classes are all recorded so that you can come back and watch the classes at a later time. And we have an archive of all the classes going back. You know, we've recorded every class for the past five years. So um, we're still working on getting them all uploaded to the, uh, to the library, but we have them and you could study from a, a lot of things. Um, and so you can actually join the academy uh, on the beginner level, or you can jump right in with both feet, like, uh, like Rick and a lot of the other people who are here, um, and do full time on the academy, which means that we actually have classes and practice sessions available to you seven days a week, and you can pick and choose which ones you want to come to. Right. Um, Judy says, uh, let them know it is intensive, but a whole lot of fun. A whole lot of, I hope so. <laughs> I mean, I mean, just, this is my new jacket. This is how much fun we have in, in our school. Just saying, just saying. Anyway, uh, so that's a little bit of an introduction um, about the school and, and where we train and how we train. Um, a little bit about myself, uh, for those, again, for those who haven't had a chance to hang out with me, I have been teaching Tai Chi for pretty close to 40 years. I've been studying Tai Chi for over 40 years. I, um, I've done a lot of wonderful things. Uh, and by the way, uh, um, the, the background of this is I started being the worst Tai Chi student ever in the history of Tai Chi. Like I'm, I'm 
the, the classic example of somebody who should have quit like after the first class because it was just that inept, that uncoordinated, that completely disconnected from my body. But I stuck with it. And in the course of those 40 years, I've been eight times national champion, two-time world bronze medalist, world silver medalist. Also, I am the number one, just numbers, right? The number one creator of commercial DVDs and television programs around Tai Chi and martial arts. Done over 150 individual episodes for PBS, for uh, some of the biggest producers of, of instructional material like Gaim and The Great Courses um, and um, Healing Arts. Uh, so um, over the course, and, and that's given me wonderful access to a lot of great experiences. And I worked with Jet Li. I went to China and helped him create an online training program uh, called Tai Chi Zen. And uh, I'm one of three master trainers of this system. Uh, I'm the only one outside of China to do his system. But we have our own system, too. So um, that's... Uh, so the Taiji Zen material has folded into our curriculum. And now what I am doing is um, have two projects going on. One project is to create the largest online um, compilation of high quality Tai Chi instruction on the internet. So we're doing that here on YouTube. We do that on our website. And eventually we'll have amassed like, um, you know, more hours of high quality instruction than, than anywhere else, so we can all put it in one place. And, and so, sometimes that just means that we have learned from other teachers who are extraordinary masters, but may not have the skills that we have at teaching it or creating um, video products around it. And so we do that job, for, you know, and, and we translate it in, in a way. So that's one project. The other project is, and this is where I think all of you will be interested, is to create the country's largest network of Tai Chi instructors because we're starting to do a lot of work with um, corporations and institutions and government agencies and whatnot. And uh, um, the call, the, like the day is coming when the actual immediate need for instructors out ways the availability of instructors. And so we're, we're starting right now to, um, to create that, uh, that network. So that's what, those are the two projects that I'm involved in right now. Um, let's see. Uh, and the creator of the first online academy. <laughs> yes, uh, that was sort of a vision uh, of mine. You know, this goes back to why I started doing uh, video in the first place. Like I had a sense, a little bit more background. So both my parents were teachers. I, I come from a family of educators. And I watched them continue to try to push the envelope of how to teach people it better and better and better. And as I saw, you know, sort of the drift of technology, once upon a time, children, there, were no, there was no such thing as the internet. <laughs> the internet was, you know, an iPad was called a book. Right? So I saw uh, the, the future coming, that we would have opportunities to expand how we distributed teaching. And so I made television, and we made video. But when the internet came along, it's like, someday we're going to be able to do this live. And when the, when the technology, even before the technology was really ready, we were already doing live streaming classes. Um, so uh, Judy says, not just the nation, but we have a whole group of overseas instructors. Yes, we do. Um, in the, the day that I can work, that I can create job opportunities for some of our overseas instructors is a little bit farther off than the day that we can do um, more job opportunities for our, uh, instructors living in the US. So that's why I just prioritize that in a way. So how do we start, says Jan Clark? What can we expect? How long does it take? All that stuff. Um, so uh, that's the right question. It's absolutely the right question. So let me tell you, let me back up just a bit and uh, say, first of all, thank you guys for the questions that, that you are already asking. Uh, if you're watching this on the replay, you know what you can do. You can still ask your questions as if it was going live. 
as soon as anybody puts in a question or adds to a comment in even a recorded video, I get notified and I can come back and answer your question. So don't be shy about asking a question, no matter when you are watching this. So starting in February of 2018, I will be back on the road. So five years ago, I, I sort of pulled back from traveling, but I was literally um, 40 weekends out of the year traveling to different cities throughout the US doing teacher trainings and certifying um, my instructors. And that's how I met um, Rick and, um, and some of the other people who are um, uh, in our school right now and maybe on the chat here somewhere. And then I uh, pulled back from traveling so much so that I could stay home with my kids and I could concentrate on growing the academy. But in 2018, I'm back on the road again. So starting in February, I'll be traveling. Let's see, where am I going in February? In February, we, we currently have um, a training scheduled for, or we're working on getting our training scheduled for um, Anaheim here in California. Um, then in March, we are scheduling one in North Carolina, which is all set up and ready for registration. If you live in North Carolina, by the way, or somewhere nearby, that's a good one to start with. Um, we also have one that we're, um, we're scheduling for Denver, Colorado in, at the end of March. Um, and then um, the other, other venues and locations are TBA at the moment, but uh, very soon we'll have a whole list of them. And you can count on us being somewhere. Oh, I know where else we are in February. We're in Syracuse, New York. Uh, so in February, we'll be, um, we'll be out in, in Syracuse early. So we're going to try to get people to, uh, um, uh, to sign up for that ASAP. Um, Mike Kansas says, schedule one for Northern Colorado. You know what I got to do? I, I had this um, all set up here. Let me see if... Um, scroll that across the bottom there with an email address if you would like to host... Uh, one of the one of our our um, trainings, or if you want more information about how to sign up for one, send me an email at this address. I will get all the information to you, and because um, I'd love to to um, to schedule you. So the trainings. Right? You guys want to know about the trainings? How the trainings run? Uh, Drew says, "When am I in Anaheim?" So the um, I just talked to uh, Jeanette who one of our instructors who's working out in, um, actually, the look, she's in Anaheim, but I think the location that we're looking at is in Garden Grove, Garden Grove which is like, you know, that far away. Um, and that is the weekend after Valentine's Day, which is the, the 18th and 19th, I gotta pull up my calendar, um, of February. So that's coming up very quickly, but we haven't had confirmation on the location yet, so we're waiting for that. Um, Mike Hans says, this would be awesome to host the training. See? Yes. That, see, this is a good thing. If you would like to host a training, you get, you know, a little extra extra, right? Because uh, you're bringing me out and I'll spend a little extra time with you. So, you know, if you've been like, hi, ah, when am I going to get my training? I know. I'll host him and he'll have to pay attention to me. That's how that works. Actually, I pay attention to you a lot, brother. I miss you. Um, all right, so here's how the trainings work. Here's what a weekend is like. The trainings are um, going to be offered over a weekend, a Saturday and Sunday. It usually runs from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. with a lunch break in the middle. Uh, some people will attend Saturday only, and those are the people who are generally coming who only want continuing education credit, either they're fitness professionals or physical therapists, acupuncturists. Um, we are also working on offering CECs for massage therapists and nurses. But you know, if they're just looking for CECs, they can come out for the one-day training. Or if they just want, you know, just Tai Chi curious and they want to get pick up a few extra tips and points. Maybe you're already teaching Tai Chi. You know, a lot of people come and so they're already doing Tai Chi or Qigong. And they just, they want to refresh. They want to get some new ideas and stuff. So they come for the one day 
and that's ninety nine dollars. Actually, so it's one twenty nine for the for the one day. Uh, but if you sign up for the early, which I encourage everybody to do, it's only ninety nine dollars. Uh, then the people who want the complete certification stay for the second day. They come back on Sunday. And there we offer you know, more in-depth training in how to run a class. We, we basically take you all the way up to your practicum level, your final exam for the, for the program, for the for basic training level, uh, with additional information specifically for functional fitness specialists or physical therapists. We've added new modules for that this year. Um, and uh, what we call the five combinations, which is basically putting together Tai Chi Fit movements so that you could run a whole class by the time you graduate from the, from the weekend. Um, and that cost is uh, $325 or do the early registration, $275, and that uh, completes um, your weekend training. Now, when you sign up, you get assigned to you a mentor who will work with you one-on-one -on -one, uh, to make sure that you understand all the material because we also have all of the study materials online because we are the kings and queens of online training. And um, you will, your mentor will take you through all of the course materials, uh, answer any questions, use this kind of technology, interactive live streaming, to you know, help you um, you know, master the movements that you're learning and, and, uh, and really get you up to speed um, as quickly as you want to graduate. And, um, and so that's how the weekend goes. And if you complete the weekend, complete the, the study materials, and then pass the practicum in which a panel of the senior trainers get to, you know, sit and watch you, do a demonstration of knowing what the cueing method is and how the movements work, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, then you are a licensed and certified Taiji Fit instructor. And then we help support you go out and, and find places to teach these classes and you know, how to set them up and talk to you about music and insurance and all that other kind of stuff. Judy is going to help me out in Anaheim. Woohoo! Super! I, that would be awesome. I would love to have you come down to Anaheim and help me out. That would be a perfect weekend. That would really be awesome. Um, so that's a, a little introduction. Uh, any questions about that? Does that, does that sound clear enough? Uh, we're planning on doing, at this point in time, I'm projecting two trainings every month somewhere in the um, in in the world <laughs> we are um, actually we had originally targeted the east coast but actually but some things have changed and so we're spreading out more uh, again um, throughout the country rick's gonna come down for the denver dates i believe the date that we're looking at is the 24th the weekend of the 24th of of, uh, of march so that, let me just really quickly take a look here. Yeah, the 24th and 25th of March is, is what we're targeting for Denver. And um, I'm just waiting for uh, confirmation on that. Super. So um, Mike Cannon says, worth every penny. Yeah, we, um, we actually, the, the $99 is something we wanted to do for a long, long time. And uh, just couldn't seem, oh, I'll tell you why, it works. So for me to travel across the country, particularly to some states back east, because uh, I'm in California, is sometimes um, expensive for us. I mean, it just it puts a real bite into the overall expenses of, of hosting a weekend. But here's the thing, and I, I should mention this. We typically have a minimum number of students that have to be signed up in order to be able to hold a, hold a, a training and for me to fly out someplace, you know, stay in a hotel, et cetera, blah, 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 blah. And if we don't hit those numbers, we have in the past, in some cases, had to cancel the weekend. In some cases, we bit the bullet and, you know, then my children have to eat top ramen for a month, you know. 
This year, because of all of the improvements we've made to the online training program, we're guaranteeing that we will never cancel, you know, except for acts of God or something like that, but, but we'll never cancel even if we don't fill our minimums. Because if we don't fill our minimums, we'll do it from here instead. We'll, we'll simply host the training 100% online. We'll do a live weekend workshop right here from the Cherry Blossom Studio. And, uh, and we'll never have to, to cancel that again. So, um, you know, we, we're projecting to be in a lot of places and um, being able to, to work with a lot of people. And I'm, I'm really excited about that. Jan says, if I come to Denver, how would that affect academy training? Well, I, so it, it wouldn't really affect the academy training. You, you, it, every time you get a chance to, to spend time with me um, in, uh, in person, it's, it's such a, a support, a lift. Like, we've done so well at at developing our expertise at online live online training that I, I still think that we get we approach 85% maybe more sometimes of what you could get in a same room kind of class but not 100% like there's there's just there's just always those aspects which are missed with the distance and the two dimensions and all that kind of stuff. So every opportunity, that's why we host our retreats. That's why we do a lot of you know, one-day workshops, is to give us an opportunity to be in the same room and to, you know, to work together in that way, because there's a little bit more that you get out of it. So every opportunity that you have to come and, and do that with me, I encourage it. Um, and in terms of academy training, it would add to what you're doing. Um, it would also accelerate your ability to go to the next level. What we have in the academy are levels are somewhat akin to like white belt, blue belt, red belt, black belt, etc. We call them the Duan system in, in Chinese martial arts. And the Duan uh, is how you progress. And so there's a certain number of requirements in each level, like in getting a belt in any martial art. And coming to the live training would help advance you through those levels, you know, fulfill some of those requirements to go to the next level. So you just accelerate your training a little bit that way. Um, Judy says, explain after the training they aren't finished to take, talk about the practicum. I, 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 did I cover that? I think I covered that. Yeah. Um, Michael Cannon says, okay, I'll find a way to spend a month, month with me. <laughs> no eight-hour Tai Chi walks. Yeah, so um, it's very interesting. We do actually have a program where people come out to my house out here in California and do what we call private retreats. I, I have one of my students who's coming out here in a few days, and they spend three days with me, and I, I create a, a personalized one-on-one -on -one training program for them, really in-depth, really intense. Uh, they spend about six hours a day with me and I drill them, teach them some new things, um, get really granular on a lot of different aspects of their Tai Chi and they, they walk away with a, a really accelerated kind of learning. That's open to everybody. It's not all that expensive. It's 1500 bucks for three days and, 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 uh, and that's a lot of time with me. That's a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with me. Are there clones? I'm trying to make you guys my clones. Not really. Not really clones. I want you to be you, but I want to, you're like, oh, you're going to get me going into the deep stuff. I have this, this real deep desire to share everything that I've had the privilege of learning all throughout my time here um, with you. Just like, I don't hold stuff back. You can ask any of my other students. Um, I am not of the school, of the train of thought, of holding back. Uh, and so, you know, I don't want to make you into my clones, but I I'm working as hard as I can to, to share with you, to educate you, to give you as much as you can handle um, until you get it all. And then, uh, and then you will be able to, you know, do what I do. And you're able to do what I do in, in your own smaller doses until you, until you get there. Does that make sense? I hope that didn't sound too weird. 
Um, my cat says, my middle name is Dorian Ross. <laughs> so, yeah, the door, it's so funny. You have no idea how funny that is. So, um, my name uh, is hyphenated, David Dorian. And um, I'm named after my uncle and my father. So, my father's name is Dorian. Well, my father was a school teacher who was, you know, talk about being influential and having a, a real impact on other people's lives. He was such a well-loved teacher that, like, even after he passed away, I would meet people on the street. In fact, I've met people on Facebook who say, uh, you're David Dorian Ross? Was your father Dorian Ross? He said, oh, he was my teacher. But, like, and so I have met people, other Dorians, who were named after my father because one of their parents were my father's students in high school. And so they just, ah, oh, he was such an influence in my life, they name it. Now that's trippy. <laughs> that's trippy. Um, Jen says, you must live on some other timeline. Where do you find the two, time to do all that instructing? You just, you, you just whittle away at it, right? Judy asks me the same kind of question all the time. She says, you know, what do you do with your free time? And I'm like, what is that? <laughs> free time? <laughs> if I had free time, I would just fill it up with something else. Right? I do um, um, have just a lot of passion, and uh, I don't get everything done every day. I don't get everything finished, every, uh, everything I've got you know, opened up. But I think that just whittling away at it, it will all eventually get done. Uh, Rick Sarris says, if he's on the West Coast, only sleeps a few hours at a time, then goes to the beach and does Tai Chi. Yep. <laughs> Paula says, Navy teaches wonderful time management skills. Yes, it does. Even before, because she knows I'm an old Navy guy. Um, and when I say old, I mean old. But you know, Paula, even before I was an old Navy guy, I was a farm boy. And uh, living on a farm and having to you know, get up way before crack of dawn to make sure that stock Livestock is fed, and you know chores are done before you come in and take a shower and get ready for school. You know that's like that teaches you a lot of time management skills as well. And I think that you know to this day I wake up before daybreak every day, filled with excitement, filled with oh what am I going to get to do today? You know who am I going to get to like work with and share stuff with today? Who am I going to get to live stream and meet today? You know that's. Um, uh, that's how that goes. Um, I want to, so here I am rambling again. I want to make sure that if you, people are tuning in right now on YouTube and watching this live stream that they really understand that they've come to the right place. So I'm David Dorian Ross. Uh, this channel on YouTube is called uh, Learn Tai Chi at Home. And uh, last night I had another live stream. I think I learned something out of last night's live stream so that this one came off without, with fewer hitches. So that was good. Um, and today's topic is about learn to be a Tai Chi teacher in 2018. And um, uh, so I've been talking a little bit about how we're helping to, to prepare people to teach Tai Chi uh, through our Tai Chi teacher training, Tai Chi Fit instructor training program that we're going to be on the road a lot. But I want to talk for a moment maybe about um, like the difference between learning Tai Chi and learning to be a Tai Chi teacher. And I think a, 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 it's a, it bears some conversation here because uh, anybody could just stand up and say, hey, I'm going to teach some Tai Chi. I'm going to become a Tai Chi teacher. And in fact, I'm going to suggest that 90% of all the people who are currently teaching Tai Chi just sort of made a decision like that one day. Said, I like Tai Chi. Tai Chi is fun. I want to teach, I want to have some students. I like, when I was a student with my teacher, I want to do that too. And they became a Tai Chi teacher. And maybe they knew a lot, a lot about Tai Chi. But that doesn't mean that they're a good Tai Chi teacher. Some of the greatest, and I'm talking great, masters of Tai Chi and martial arts that I know in my life, that I've had a chance to work with and study from, that I respect from a, from a distance, right? are the worst teachers ever, right? It's just, 
a fact. We measure a, a teacher by the abilities, by the, by the impact upon the students, by, by the ability of the student to utilize what is being taught. I think that's how I want to say it. We, we measure um, the, um, the abilities of a teacher. And so teaching is a craft. Teaching is a skill set that you study and get, <clears throat> get better at over time. Some people have a talent for teaching. I think I'm fortunate that I have a talent for teaching. But I think my talent wouldn't get me very far if I hadn't also worked on my skills as a teacher. And so, you know, uh, most of my career as a teacher has been like, not, not how do I get better at Tai Chi, but how do I get better as a teacher, right? And so, in looking, and now I also have a lot of empathy for other Tai Chi teachers who are not so skilled as teachers. And I'm like, I want you to be better because if you're better as a teacher, guess what? You retain your students more. You have a bigger impact. You get to have your passion make a difference in other people's lives in a very profound and lasting way. One of the saddest things that I ever hear from Tai Chi teachers is I can never keep enough students to keep my class going. Right? Some of you who have who have uh, been martial arts teachers or have known martial arts teachers, you, 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 you've heard this a million times. Teachers say, oh, I started out with you know, 20 students and now I'm down to two. And I can't keep my class going with those kind of numbers. Right? Well, you know, there's a reason for that. Now, a lot of it has to do with how people teach. Just like if you walked into a coffee shop and the coffee shop owner said, oh, we started out so well, we had a whole bunch of people come in the first day we opened but then, you know, it's, it's uh, six months later, and now I only have five customers. Like, really? Dude, your coffee sucks then. <laughs> right? <laughs> or your attitude behind the coffee bar is kind of pretty, you know, unfriendly, whatever. Right? That is what that means. So what do you do in a case like that? Well, you could close up shop, close your coffee house. You could make better coffee. Or you could... Take anger management, <laughs> take Tai Chi, <laughs> and be a more mellow person for people who come in to drink your coffee. Right? So Tai Chi Fit is not about um, how to do a new kind of Tai Chi. It is about learning the craft of being a teacher so that the people who come to learn Tai Chi in your classes have this wonderful experience of it. They get, they, they actually experience and receive all the magic that we talk about, about Tai Chi being an, a moving meditation, a way of increasing your personal health, of, of finding uh, longevity and a sense of, of vitality and youthfulness, uh, even learning how to you know, do self-defense. They, they, they actually get that without the frustrations without the, the barriers, without the, you know, God, this is boring. You know, all those kinds of things that have been the bane of Tai Chi teachers' existence for so long, right? Tai Chi Fit is a methodology about how to be a teacher, not just how to do Tai Chi. I had an email just yesterday from a gentleman who's been studying Tai Chi for many years, and he's gotten a certification of a, you know as a teacher from another tai chi organization and he wants to go start teaching these classes but he's working with an organization that we have a relationship with that says if you want to teach tai chi for our organization you have to have a tai chi fit certif certificate so um, you know like uh, you know his question is like why do i need you <laughs> I'm like because we focused on how to guarantee you know, such as it is, how to, how to really you know, um, teach the skills to hone the craft of being a Tai Chi teacher so that we achieve the results that we want to achieve with your students. That's what Tai Chi Fit is all about. And a bunch of really wacky people <laughs> who, who, have, who have wonderful, wonderful hearts and you get a chance to hang out with and and do some great work in the world with. Uh, Jan Clark says, I have grown. <laughs> I've got a DVD from the 90s. Oh, boy, which 90s? Which DVD? Yeesh. I have one. I actually came across uh, uh, a copy. I think, uh, hopefully, 
It is the only copy left in existence. I have it in my garage. But I made my first um, video, my VHS, commercial VHS, in 1987. Talk about a dog. Oh, this is so bad. I'm hoping that nobody else has a copy of it. But, uh, and you, you want to see some really weird hair. That's, that's the one to watch. Even, even weirder than my hair in the Hawaii video. So. Well, I think, um, I'm hoping I've covered uh, most of the uh, material about how to be a Tai Chi teacher in 2018. Um, one of the things that we're doing also as a company is not only providing education, but also trying to you know, create more opportunities for Tai Chi teachers. So we're working with hospitals and corporate um, uh, level institutions and uh, the government agencies, et cetera, et cetera, to, um, here's the thing, so by this time, Almost everybody has heard of Tai Chi and understands the benefits of it and says, well, you know, this could really be a good thing for us to have in our company or <clears throat> in our gym or something like that. But they don't know how. They don't know how to evaluate who's a good teacher. They don't know how to package the programs. And unfortunately, a lot of times when they do bring in a Tai Chi program into their facility, it doesn't go well. It doesn't succeed. Um, like just historically, one of the big differences in terms of outcomes that happen, traditional Tai Chi classes typically start off with a big group of people and then dwindle to only a few, right? And a, and a business like a, like a gym or something like that can't afford to have a class that goes like this because they need classes that have lots of participation. Tai Chi Fit classes, on the other hand, just keep growing. Like, even when they start out small, like our friend Jeanette over in, in uh, Anaheim started out with like three people, and it just stayed around. It just kept growing and growing and growing. And now it's, you know, eight or nine people. Um, sometimes people will be um, teaching classes that grow to 20 or 30. Matt Jeffs out in North Carolina has 30 plus people already in his hospital class. Um, and so that's one of the differences that we have between uh, the outcomes of a traditional Tai Chi program and a Tai Chi Fit program. Um, Mike Cannon says, I introduced Tai Chi to the local wellness center here, and they loved it. That's even out in Idaho, for crying out loud. I say that with tongue-in-cheek, you know, I'm an Oregon boy myself. So, um, uh, it's, it, it, we're, we're, we're living in the 21st century. I think there are a few places in the country where people have less like, I don't know what Tai Chi is. I don't know. Do you use a tea bag for Tai Chi? Yeah. Anyway, um, what questions do you guys have about uh, the program and about how you could access, let me make this really clear one more time about how you could become a Tai Chi instructor in 2018. And this is my invitation to you. I would love it if everybody watching who has an interest in becoming a Tai Chi teacher in the coming year, signs up for one of the training programs, or at least sends me an email to inquire about it. I'm gonna be in as many different um, locations, hopefully uh, the one of them will be near you, and if you, uh, if I come anywhere in you know, a couple hundred miles radius of you, please take advantage of the opportunity to come and, and work with me. I promise, um, you know, by the way, we offer a guarantee on all of our programs. Uh, did you know that? 100% guarantee. Like you take my training, and at the end of the training, you go, this thing sucked. I didn't learn a damn thing. I'm giving you your money back. Just that simple. So, um, you know, you've got nothing to lose if you, uh, um, maybe you'll be out a couple of bucks for the gas to get there, but you should come and train with me. And that's my invitation for you. Sign up for one of the training programs. Sign up early so that you can get the early bird savings. And, um, um, and, and then become a teacher and start sharing some of this beautiful energy and spirit that you have with other people. That's my invitation. Um, oh, oh, 
I'm saying I should, I'm going to have to go back and when I edit this video, make sure I write this into the introduction, something I almost forgot. So Sparky and I were just talking just before I did the live stream um, that anybody who signs up for any of our courses, so we've got the one coming up in North Carolina, that's solid and booked. We've got the one coming up in Denver in March. We're almost 100% on that. We'll probably find out. I'll know by, you know, they tell me it's going to be Christmas this weekend. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll, have, we'll be back online on Tuesday. Uh, if you sign up before December 31st, you will also get a free one-on-one -on -one training session online here with me. So, you know, that's uh, another $75 value, you know, for a, a half-hour training session with me, uh, free, just for signing up before December 31st. How about that? And we just, we just decided that just before, the, um, just before I came in to do the live stream. All right. Um, I want to wrap this up here in the next few minutes, but I also want to make sure that I'm catching everybody's questions. So if you've got a question, please go ahead and type it into the comment chat bar right there. And while we're doing that, let me just say to the people who are watching in the future, uh, to remind you that you can um, still leave comments. You can still post your question because uh, even in, on uh, the recordings after they're over, if as soon as you post a question, I get notified. And so I can come back and answer your question after the live stream is done. It's like time travel, man. Very, very cool. How many of you are watching the uh, 100 Days series here on, on this YouTube channel? Just say, just type in yes if you're watching the 100 Days series. Look at that. Awesome. Oh, wonderful. Um, Jan says, where do I find the finalized dates and places? Uh, Jen, we will be having a, a page on the website, taijifit.net, which will have all of the dates. Um, uh, we're working on that right now. Also, I'll be sending out an email um, to those dates, and probably because they're coming up really soon, I'm going to be posting them inside the information on the 100 Days of Videos, because I know a lot of people are watching this, so look for those in a few places. And I've got my email scrolling across the bottom of the screen right now. If you um, are looking for some information like that and you can't find it, please just send me an email directly and I'll get you the information ASAP. Uh, wonderful. Look at all the people who are watching the 100 Days uh, um, series. If, if you're just tuning in and you're like, I don't know what that means, um, I'm currently doing a daily upload of lessons here on YouTube uh, teaching the Yang style 103 movement traditional long form and the project is called 100 days of Tai Chi we're on day 66 today um, and we're progressing right along uh, we're on movement number 75 so I've got I've got to slow down a bit or something <laughs> um, this this series will stay up for about another month and a half, two months maybe. And then it disappears. And when it disappears, here's the thing. Um, it, not all of the videos will go away. Just because when we make a DVD out of it, which is what our plan is, it wouldn't be fair to the people who want to buy the DVD to have all of the material in the DVD still on YouTube. So we're going to take off enough of it so that people say, like, I really like this, but I like to get the whole thing. Say, well, that's why we did the DVD. Um, and, um, and so some of it, a lot of it, will still be there. And I'm hoping that you'll still be able to come back and fill in some of the gaps. And, and you guys know me by now. If you asked me a question about anything that wasn't there on the channel, I'd teach it to you or make a new video or tell you in class or something like that just because I want to share it with you. 
I think it's a privilege to be allowed to share with you, and I really appreciate that. All right. Well, listen, um, it looks like everybody's had their questions answered. Uh, if you have uh, more questions, you can uh, go ahead and write them down, and um, I'll be happy to come back and answer them once again. But for right now, let me just go ahead and say thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Uh, I'm hoping that um, we'll have a chance to meet and work together in the coming year when I'm on the road out there teaching Tai Chi and teaching Tai Chi teachers, and we'll have a chance to do more. Thank you once again. I'm David Dorian Ross. If you want to learn Tai Chi at home, you're on the right channel. If you want to learn to be a Tai Chi teacher, then you're on the right channel because this is access to me and I can answer those questions. For right now, I'm going to let you go and say Merry, Merry Christmas, and I uh, hope you have a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you in the next lesson I do. Take care, everybody.